Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Sunny here. Um, today we're taking a look at Tuvala gear and enhancing. Like, how do you do it? And what's the best way to go about it? Some tips and tricks to save resources and allow you to get uh, geared quicker on the season server. So let's just jump straight into it. So first off, you're gonna be getting a, a full set of Pride Tuvala. When you are doing your, your quest line, you get Pin Naru, you turn it into the NPC, uh, Fuga, I believe it is, and then you're gonna get a, a piece of Pride Tuvala. And the Pride Tuvala stuff is what we're gonna try and get to pin today. We're gonna need these Timefill Blackstones to uh, upgrade it, and you get a lot just doing the quest, uh, quest lines, and also there is a weekly quest for 600 stones. I have not done mine yet, and we still have 1100 stones. So we're gonna get a lot of these uh, stacks along the way. And for, for going for do, using a 10 stack is pretty much what I'm going to be aiming for. Um, 10 stack in, boom, easy. We're gonna try and get all of these pieces up to um, do. I'm just gonna, there we go. Another one here. I'm gonna see if we can get all of them, right? And I got a further little trick here I'll, I'll show in a bit. Uh, right, missing this one, and last one here. To go for try, I would use these right here. Um, you need 20 of these stones to force a try. So um, it gives you a 100% upgrade chance. You can't get higher than try using these stones. They work, um, yeah, basically uh, pry do try. So we're gonna go here and we're just gonna be upgrading these 100%. We don't have that many of those stones, so we'll just uh, get whichever ones we can. We got one more here. And I think we got enough for one more. Let's just go with the gloves here. Right. We're gonna encrypt these real quick because, check this out. We're gonna go to uh, Fuga the basic, the season giver, and he has all these beautiful, beautiful quests. So we're going to be picking up all these quests here. We picked up all the quests, and as you can see here, if you have enhanced a piece, all you have to do is re-equip it, and it will complete the quest. We can then go and talk to Fuga, and turn it in, and we're gonna get a lot of beautiful 40 stacks, and we can use these 40 stacks to enhance for Ted. If this is your, your first time around, I would very much advise to use the fill stacks you get to enhance for the appropriate level. So I'm now going to be throwing in my piece of gear here, uh, my try gear. I'm gonna use one of the 40 stacks again for making it try. And I now have a 36% chance of success. And there's basically nothing else to do except just click it and hope for the best. Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, sometimes it just works. Now, if this had downgraded, what I would do is just repeat the process. If you're running out of um, if you're running out of uh, stones to force the upgrade, then you can go out and, and grind again, get some more stones, or you can just do raw taps. Now, I would advise that you make sure you get one full set of tri gear, and. Um, after getting a full set of tri gear using the guaranteed upgrade method, what I would actually suggest is getting a backup set to enhance with. And I'm gonna show you guys how you do that right now. And what we're going to do is we're now going to make a backup set of Pride Tuvala. And when you've done the main storyline, you should have a bunch of beginner blackstones. And this is really, really important. Don't throw them away don't vendor them. What you do is you go over here to Fuga and you are just going to basically uh, use your Blackstones to make one of each piece of items additional. So we got all the armor pieces and we are now going to go and get the weapons. Let's see, they are right here. So we're going to get the main hand weapon and we're going to get the sub weapon. It doesn't look like you can actually get the awakening weapon unless I'm blind, yeah. So you can't get the uh, the narrow awakening weapon. When you're doing your awakening quest line, you do get uh, a Pride to Vala, a, way, uh, a Pride to Vala awakening weapon as a reward. And I would advise any of you guys 
to use your guaranteed pin stone. So this one here, the Frozen Tide Spike Stone, you get one of those if you are completing your season pass. Up to this point here, you get one of these as a reward. So since you can't make a backup piece of uh, Tuvala Awakening weapon, I would advise you to use your guaranteed pin upgrade on the Awakening weapon. Uh, that way you're not gonna risk downgrading your gear or anything like that. So um, that would be my advice. We got a full set of base Naru, and we are going to throw this in here and we're just gonna be clicking all of this stuff to uh, pin and then we're gonna turn it in for a backup set of Pride Tuvala. We've made uh, a full set of pin Naru gear and we just used all some of the, the backup black stones that we made along the way. And what we're actually going to do is we're gonna, gonna keep some of those. So when we make these into Pride Tuvala, we're gonna enhance them. And um, if they keep failing going up in levels and they end up being uh, Pride Tuvala, zero durability, we can actually just throw it in the bin uh, after we have made a new one. So you don't have to spend your resources repairing the Tuvala gear as long as you have uh, beginner Blackstone to make more Pride Tuvala gear. So we're going to turn this in here. We go to Fuga. We go under Exchange. And right here, we can just turn them in. You see, we turn in a pin narrow, Pride Tuvala. And we're just going to do that on all the pieces we just made. And that way, we don't have to risk our progress. So if we're playing on Season, I'm assuming that you want to actually play on Season. You want to be able to uh, grind. And it might be that you run out of materials while enhancing. And suddenly going from having uh, tri gear or even some TED items, fading a lot, having no materials, and then being down at zero or, or like being down at pry gear, you might not be able to grind the places you wanted to grind on season for more materials. So having some backup gear is really, really good for that. So when going for, for Doom, uh, I would suggest using the tin stacks you get. And when you're going for try, so we do have some try, uh, some do pieces here. We couldn't force them up because I'm out of stones for forcing. So what I would suggest if you're going to use it, use your 20 stacks here uh, to go for try. So you can take your, your pieces here and we can go for try. Again, I would advise you to force it 100% if you have enough of these. But as you see here, I don't right now. So we're going to try and enhance these and we're going to enhance them, uh, hoping to get one of them up. Uh, and then we just go back here. Now, if you don't have any more tin stacks, what you can do is you can click here and you can take out your armor stones and you can make a tin stack, apply it like this. And then we just throw it back in and we click again. We got another one. We throw it over to this other stack here. And you should have been doing a quest. You should have one of these. Um, I know I have a lot more in the nether band is called, but you should have one by doing a quest. So you can do this as well. Uh, 30, it's probably pushing it a bit, but we're going to go for it. Uh, 34, I'm probably going to keep. So we're just going to go back here. We're going to make another uh, tin stack. And we're going to click it. We'll make another tin stack. I'm going to keep this 18 stack. Um, you don't want to waste your, your stacks too much here. And we're going to throw it over here to the 18 stack now. And we got another try. We're going to equip this one. And... Uh, now we... <laughs> oh, that was one of the pieces I had tried already. Shit, dude. Shit. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Okay. So what we did here is we, we made uh, a pair. We already had a, uh, a try to Tuvala. So this is like a backup piece. We can go and set on this one uh, without feeling bad. We're now going to try and make uh, another piece here that we can equip. Just making sure we have all our gear sorted out. Um, we're going to go for boots, do, and we're going to put in a 20 stack here, use a 20 stack, we're going to click for try, didn't work, and we're just going to keep doing this until we get them upgraded, and throw it in here again, and we're going to click, try, easy, adding them into the mix, and again, I do want to advise you guys to get a full set of try gear with weapons and everything, and after that, go for Ted on backup gear. And when you've made an item into Ted, uh, keep it at Ted 
and use the backup gear to go for Ted again and pin. So you keep repeating this until you're at full pin. You're going to be getting some crunch stones along the way. I wouldn't advise this, but if you want to make quick gains, you can use the 60 stack you got from uh, making a Ted. You can go for your, um, your pin on this and you can use crunch stones. Using crunch stones means that when you fail, it doesn't downgrade. But I don't think this is the best solution. Uh, in this season, they've increased the success rate significantly. So you can see it's going to take me around three clicks of doing this. And it's going to cost me uh, 165 crunch stones per click. That's extremely expensive. So I would well, way rather uh, suggest any of you guys to just... Take some time. You don't have to get full pin on day one. Um, if you got Ted gear and you want to get pin, keep grinding, get some materials. It is way easier now and just keep enhancing on your backup gear. Uh, it is an option, but I do not recommend it. So now we got full try to Valor gear. Uh, we haven't touched accessories yet, but we will get into that and I will be doing some accessory clicks as well. So we got our full try uh, to Valor. And now we are looking to go for Ted using our backup gear. Now we already have a Ted uh, weapon, so we are not going to be enhancing that right now, but we're going to be enhancing the other pieces. Um, we already have this 34 stack here. I do want to say just use the 40 stacks. We've gotten a bunch of 40 stacks, one per piece. It's almost like this is uh, thought out. So I would recommend using those. For me right now, since I made a 34 stack, I think that's perfectly fine. It's a 30% chance. I'm just gonna keep building on this one for now. So we're just gonna be going here and sit on this one. And now we're gonna be, well, we had an 18 stack. I can use that for try attempts. So we're just gonna be clicking here again. And now we're just back. Again, um, I would recommend working on weapons first. Weapons give more AP and that means more damage and a lot of times you're going to be fine um, with just try armors in a lot of places. So I'm going to prioritize getting my weapons to Ted first. And we're just going to keep repeating what we've been doing. We're going to go uh, the 10 stacks for the duo attempts. And whenever it succeeds, we're going to go over to our 20 stack. We're going to go for try. And when that succeeds for try, we're going to go over to the 40 stack and we're going to be clicking for Ted. And again, it failed, so we start over. When it happens that your item breaks, what I like to do is instead of spending my ores that I will need for accessories, I like to just see if I can make a new piece. So before I trash this one, I will go over here and I will make sure that I have enough stones to get another uh, offhand for Naru. And then I'm going to enhance that one to pin and turn it in for our new. Make sure you got a zero stack when you're doing this. We're going to go into Naru here and we're going to enhance it all the way to pin. We're going to turn it into another prior to Vala. And then I'm going to trash the zero durability to Vala I got. It doesn't do anything. I don't have to spend any resources repairing it. If I can just use my beginner blackstones making a new. Uh, it might take some time. <laughs> But it's going to be a, a basically a free full repair. And bam, baby. We did it. We did it. Right. So we actually managed to make a full Ted Tuvala gear in our first enhancement session with Tuvala. And we got the guaranteed pin Tuvala awakening weapon as well. Now, we have these backup pieces as well. And what we're going to do is now we're going to try and click Ted on them. We don't have more stones right now. So I'll be doing my weekly quest. I'll be getting some more stones from that. And I'll be enhancing my backup pieces now doing the same method. I might actually use slightly lower stacks now uh, simply because I'm not in a rush to get the, um, the successes now. Whenever I get one of these to go uh, Ted, I'll be clicking on one of the free uh, 60 stacks I got uh, to go and attempt pin and then whenever I get it I will equip it and use it now let's take a look at accessories because we do want to get full pin to other accessories as well uh, first off we are going to be getting a pin to ring 
at level 60 and a pin Tuvala earring at level 61. Uh, if you go under your white tab, you can see it under goal. And you can see here, season character level 60, we're gonna get a pin Tuvala ring and a pin Tuvala earring at 61. And that means I don't have to enhance uh, double earrings and rings. I just need to make one earring, one ring, one nick and one belt. This is one of the reasons we didn't want to waste these Tuvala all on uh, repairing our Tuvala gear, as long as we had beginner Blackstones, is because now we need to turn these in to accessories. And it takes five ores to make one accessory. Unlike your Tuvala gear, um, you don't actually really need backups of these because if you're doing your quest line, you will get these quest items. You can enhance up to try. And as you can see comparatively, they are better than the try Tuvala stuff. So you can go all the way up to Tet on your Tuvala accessories without worrying about backups. When you're going for, for Pry, no fail sacks required. When going for Do, I would say no fail sacks required either. So we're just gonna go here one at a time and we're gonna see if we can upgrade the... We go to the blacksmith and we can exchange here. We're gonna get another necklace. Pry and do attempts, I would not use any fail stacks. It might uh, mean a couple fails along the way, but I definitely think it's totally fine. When going for try, again, it's like a 40-50% 40, uh, 40, chance. When going for Ted, um, using a 10 or 20 stack is, um, is probably the right thing to do. Again, you don't have to worry about backups for this. A 43% on a Ted, I feel like that's a pretty decent stat. If you go and you do a 20 stack, the odds are going to be 50. So it's a bit up to you. Do you feel like that last seven percentage? If you're running low on material, so if you're running low on your um, Tuvala all, then maybe going for a 20 stack is the right thing to do. If you have a bunch or if you're totally fine with where you are, then I would suggest just use a 10 stack and use that to go for Ted. All right, so we're just gonna click here and there we go. One set down. Uh, for this one here, I do recommend when you go for pin to use a 20 stack. 40% chance on pin, I feel like that is perfectly fine and well worth it. Um, we've already used a bunch of ores to get to this point here. And ores do take some time to, um, to get to. So we're going to go in here and 40% a 20 stack for pin. I think that is the, the most optimal usage. One down, continue doing it like this until you are full pen Naru. And of course, it might take you several weeks if you go out and do some grinding. Remember to do your daily, sorry, your weekly quest where you can get 600 time-filled blackstones. And to get that quest, you go to the note manager of any of your grind spots and you can pick it up for there. You can also find it by clicking O, going under recurring. And right here in the top, it's called uh, season weekly. A stronger Tuvala gear. Now I'm currently on my uh, Mencham's daily, sorry, weekly, but you'll see an entire list here of all the different grind spots where you can do it and you just choose the quest in the grind spot that you like to grind. Guys, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, all of this was recorded live during one of my Friday enhancing streams and if you want to drop by, feel free Twitch TV slash by Septimus Prime, link in the description. And as always, if you've got any questions, you can always drop a comment on the video or join the Twitch channel and ask me live instead. I'll see you around.